In this video, we are going to start with simple one finger rock guitar and gradually progress through basic power chords, riffs, we will progress to advanced rhythms, we'll start with easy guitar solos, and as we improve, we'll speed things up a bit to more challenging lead guitar parts. Let's take a six string open E note and learn how to adjust our amp settings for premium rock tone. The controls on this amp feature two channels. In most cases, the first channel is a clean guitar sound. Channel two is usually a distorted guitar sound. For this channel, the more gain you use, the heavier the guitar tone will be. For a common rock guitar tone, engage the overdrive and set it to six or seven. Next, we have the EQ or equalizer controlling the low, mid, and high frequencies. Let's put these at 12 o'clock, which means they are flat, not giving or taking away from the tone. In rock, it is typical to raise the bass a little to the number seven marker and slightly boost the mids to six and treble just past the number seven marker. Here's the open E, an E power chord, and here's an open E chord. If your amp and guitar combination aren't giving you the tone you desire, you can insert a distortion pedal between your guitar and amp. Here, I'm using my amp set to the clean channel with the rock EQ setting that we just learned. For the distortion, I'm using a Carl Martin Plexitone. I have the boost set just before 10 o'clock. The level control is the same as volume and you could adjust it to your liking. Just before one o'clock would be ideal. Tone is set to three o'clock, high gain to one, and crunch is dialed in just past 10 o'clock. The use of a distortion pedal allows a lot more tonal possibilities, and it also allows us to easily switch from a clean tone to a dirty rhythm tone. The select button allows me to choose between two tones, high gain and crunch. And by engaging the boost, I have a slightly louder lead guitar tone. During each lesson, I'll use a general distorted tone for each description. During the practice tempos, I'll be adding more effects. To give the guitar sound a little more depth, you might also want to add some chords. Here, I'm using the Carl Martin Classic Chorus. During the guitar solos, I'll be adding a Carl Martin Echo Tone Delay effect. dominates guitar and rock music. So let's start out by learning a basic structure for a rock guitar rhythm based in the key of E. Simply start with a downstroke on the open E note and let it ring out for four beats. One, two, three, four. Then we'll switch to the fifth string open A note. Here I'll alternate to an upstroke and hold for four beats. One, two, three, four. Next, we switch back to the open six string E note, pick with a downstroke for four beats. One, two, three, four. Then E again with an upstroke for four beats. One, two, three, four. So it's a very simple structure. E, A, E, E. Since you're not holding any frets with your playing hand, you could use a technique called damping or muting to prevent any stray notes from ringing out on other strings. To do this, just lightly touch the strings you don't want to ring out. So when you play the sixth string E note, you can lightly touch the fifth through first strings, and this will prevent unwanted notes from ringing out. This way, if you accidentally pick extra strings, they will be muted and you'll only hear the note you want, which is the open E. When you switch to the open fifth string A note, just move the damping technique down to the fourth string and you could even bring your thumb around to mute the sixth string. With this muting technique, you could even strum all six strings 
but you only hear the note you are allowed to ring out. Of course, you can also practice picking accurately so you don't hit any stray notes. All right, so our first exercise was made with the beginner guitarist in mind. It is very simple, just E, A, E, E. Don't worry, as we discussed earlier, we are going to progress to a lot of advanced rock guitar playing. But for starters, let's keep things simple for our beginner viewers. Let's practice this rhythm at a slow tempo of 50 beats per minute, or 50 BPM. We'll play it twice, then move on to the next lesson.